Today we're going to talk about what happens when your blood sugar gets too high after you've cut out your carbs on a ketogenic or a carnivore diet because this is very important to understand. <laughs> Welcome everyone to my humble life. Now let's get into this whole high blood sugar problem. A lot of you have high blood sugar and you think you're okay, but you're really not. So let's go over the top problems with high blood sugar. For example, you eat a lot of protein. That protein that your body can't use on demand, it can't use it. The body's going to convert it into sugar and then store it for later energy because your body doesn't understand that we live in the modern time and there's food in the refrigerator. So it's going to convert that protein into glucose. This is how people have discovered that they are showing diabetic high blood sugar numbers just from eating protein, no carbs only can your blood sugar spike from eating a lot of protein, but it can also spike from not eating anything and fasting by having your body eat itself. That's gluconeogenesis. Gluco means glucose, blood sugar. Neo means new, and genesis means to create. When you decide to cut out your carbohydrates and do a meat-based or keto or carnivore diet, the body needs to get energy from somewhere and it takes a long time to keto adapt. The fat's got to be very high. In fact, your protein should be moderate to low and that's how you get into ketosis. But nine times out of 10 or 10 times out of 10, people are still eating too much protein because they're afraid of fat. People have been misinformed and think that if they eat fat, they're going to get fat. No. What makes you fat is broken hormones, thyroid, insulin, and sex hormones. That's what makes you fat. When your blood sugar is running high. Your body's going to take everything in the blood. And you can make sugar out of your body eating itself. So you have high blood sugar. And you can have diabetic high blood sugar numbers from gluconeogenesis. And then you're eating a ton of fat. Insulin's going to store everything. But if your insulin is in check, then you're not going to store. And that's what some of these gurus make it sound like. Oh, you just cut out the, the carbohydrates and... You're insulin uh, sensitive and you're good to go. Uh uh. It's a long process. It can take from three months, six months to a year that if you are running high on blood sugar because you have stress and you're drinking coffee, it's going to take a while for your body to reestablish itself. So, number one problem is gluconeogenesis from too much damn protein and fasting on ketogenic and carnivore diets. So, don't do that. Don't listen to the hype. The autophagy is just a theory. Look at people. It's not happening. Sleep is the next reason, the lack of sleep rather, that people have high blood sugar on these diets. When you put out your carbs, you got nothing to drop your blood sugar and people start being awake on carnivore diets and ketogenic diets because they're not adapted. Blood sugar starts rebounding and again, high blood sugar and it starts swinging when you don't eat carbs. Blood sugar goes dunk, 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 dunk all the time on these low carb diets because your body has to reestablish how to get into ketosis. And if you eat too much protein, as I've already discussed, blood sugar spiking, what goes up drops. So you start having problems with these blood sugar regulation hormones like insulin and glucagon. People develop hypoglycemia all day long. I keep explaining this, why people have these symptoms. They're like, yeah, but blah, 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 online, they're doing great. I'm like, no, people just lie. I'm sorry. They just omit tons of stuff because they're getting all that. Oh my God, you lost 60 pounds, Hercules. Yes, everybody omits everything. They just leave it out. Nothing is that simple. Dropping out your carbs and your body is used to carbohydrates and you're trying to fat adapt or eating a bunch of protein, I'm sorry, people, nothing's that easy, nothing. And it shouldn't be because you wouldn't actually develop the discipline or the appreciation for, from, or for rebalancing your body if it was that simple. That's why people who do cardio, when I used to be, go to the gym, I'd see people doing cardio 
for years and never get ripped. Never, never, ever. So people have this sort of, this lack of understanding how you can take PEDs. That's performance enhancement drugs. Mm -hmm. I know. Look it up. And people take them now like they're Tic Tacs. Now, I can see when somebody's body isn't natural, but y'all, most of y'all can't. So when people are like, oh my God, look how much muscle I have and look how low body fat I have. You will always pay the piper when you put your body to that extreme. When I hear young guys like, I want a body fat of 7%. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Because you can't sustain that without blowing out your adrenals or your thyroid or your blood sugar or your sex hormones. Everything should be difficult and that's okay. That's what we want. And everything, I mean, not difficult as in not working, but as in rebalancing your body and taking the time to do that. But another way you jack yourself up is by over-exercising too late and not following a circadian rhythm. So people eat too much protein, they fast, they get horrible sleep, and they over-exercise or under, but really over-exercising and they don't follow a circadian rhythm. These are the things that make your blood sugar skyrocket. I mean, skyrocket and then drop. And just the whole fasting of skipping meals. Don't skip meals. You don't have blood sugar control. More and more people are using the continuous glucose monitor or checking their blood sugar and it's swinging and or their ketones don't balance with their blood sugar how do you fix that well obviously you follow a circadian rhythm go to bed people y'all staying up too late don't follow me Mm -hmm. and then you got to get up when the sun rises you have to eat every couple of hours to reestablish blood sugar control you got to moderate your protein you have to go to bed extra early use candlelight when i get moving to my house we done with these led lights You can kiss my golden brown arse. I'm not doing it anymore. I've got oil lamps. I've got land. I'm going to do hella natural stuff because I'm just tired of these lights. They flicker, jack up your sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this anymore. And I hope you guys are learning as well. That's a whole nother video on how toxic you guys are and how parasitically infested you are. And you think that just doing a carnivore diet or keto diet is going to fix you. You're going to be like Jordan Peterson who's had issues and Michaela Peterson who's had issues even with red meat. I know. Who would have thunk? Comment below if your blood sugar has been spiking by doing carnivore ketogenic diets. Because it can spike through gluconeogenesis just from not being in ketosis. Y'all ain't eating enough fat. Y'all ain't getting your stress down. Y'all eating too much protein and the quality of food. And also just look for all the sugar and bacon. Those things make your blood sugar spike. Bacon, these are the top ways that your blood sugar is spiking. You can't get into ketosis. And what goes up goes down and you crash. Comment below. My Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. I am doing a bunch of stuff, but y'all know I'm working on this challenge. I'm not saying any dates. That's how I've messed up myself. We're getting there. It's just I've got to do everything. I've got to fix my mom's entire life, sell her house, get rid of all her stuff, or put it in storage. And I bought a van for her, a used van. Super cute. It's like one of those European small vans because my mom can no longer walk. So I can drive her out of a nursing care facility. So today I picked up a van and we worked on a barn because I'm building a barn. And I got to start looking at uh, my course. I'm running a course where I cover all three diets. Yes, I do course lessons. You can sign up through stephanieperson.com if you're interested in that $15 a month subscription-based course and amount because I got to edit this and go to bed.